We're standing in front of one of the houses that has been renovated. Uh, these are old houses, so smaller houses um, that do not meet up to the standards of energy efficiency. So it's people with not too, too many income that don't have the means themselves to renovate their house. And then the city council comes in. Um, so that in that sense, it's a very interesting project to make sure that people who don't have the means themselves can have a good renovation of their house so it becomes more energy efficient. And what do we have? We have a lower energy bill for the people and we have a way of meeting our climate goals at a very local level. Um, and that for me is the most important lesson of today. How can you make sure that um, the very big European legislation made in Brussels um, by the Parliament and the Council um, are meeting up with the very local um, goals of uh, tackling energy poverty, uh, but also tackling climate change. They both need each other and we can learn from each other. I've seen um, our Vice President of the Commission, Mario Sefcovic, but also the Acting President of the Council, um, uh, Minister Millis, listening very careful and they will use that as well to shape the energy policy at the European level. I strongly believe that you ha can change um, the world, you can tackle climate change, you can combat inequality at the very local and the very European level. The two of them should be combined together.